Hello, so before the video starts, um, just a little editor's note, I am noticing that my hair is in my face for like most of the video, um, specifically like strands of hair getting caught in my eyelashes. If that's going to bother you, then sorry, I don't know what to tell you, like I'm not gonna re-record the whole video, but yeah, um, I notice it, so you don't gotta say something, yeah, anyway, enjoy the video. Hey guys, it's Avery, and welcome back to another video. Uh, as you can see, I changed my hair. Um, I decided to bleach it to do kind of a light color for the summer. I don't know if I'm going to go back to blue in the fall or if I'm just going to let it grow out to my natural color. But if you want to know how I do my hair blue, there is a separate video for that on my channel, so feel free to check it out. So with COVID restrictions lifting and the pandemic turning into an endemic, concerts are becoming a thing again. I've been to many concerts, probably somewhere in the double digits and I've been to a handful since restrictions have started lifting. Um, this is actually a shirt I got from the Destroy Boys concert back in May. But yeah, so this video is going to be talking about general concert tips and etiquette and also more specifically about how to get really close to the stage at a concert. Now this video is for people who have either never been to a concert before and they're going for the very first time or maybe you've been to concerts many times and you're just looking for some extra tips and tricks. Either way, this video is kind of for everyone. I would like to make a little disclaimer. The tips and tricks in this video mostly apply to small to medium-sized venues. Um, if you're seeing an artist at a stadium or an arena of some sort, it's going to look a lot different and a lot of these tips probably won't apply as well if at all. So just keep that in mind. But anyway, yeah, why don't we jump straight into the video? All right, so arriving at the venue. So depending on how close you wanna to get to the stage, you're probably going to want to show up about one to two hours early, maybe even earlier, depending on how popular the band is. And by early, I mean before doors. Now doors is the time that they actually open up the venue and let people start coming in before the concert starts. This is usually about an hour to an hour and a half before showtime. So when I say arrive one to two hours early, I mean one to two hours before before doors open. Now, if you don't really care about getting that close to the stage, you honestly don't need to show up early. You can probably just show up whenever. But if you want to get a decent spot, I do recommend showing up a little bit early. Now, if you are going to be waiting for a little bit, make sure to be prepared. Make sure you have something to eat, your phone is charged. Also dress for the weather. Um, if it's going to be hot and sunny, make sure you're putting on sunscreen or that you have layers if it's going to be raining or really cold. Uh, speaking of dressing up, if you are short like me, I would really recommend wearing um, platform boots of some kind. In the past, I've known like taller people to let shorter people go in front of them, but it's just not really like that anymore. So if you're short, I would recommend getting some big shoes that make you taller because it's kind of a fend for yourself situation these days. Um, and the last thing while you're waiting in line is just be mindful of others. Uh, if you need to smoke, please step out of line because people don't like smelling that. And also, if you're with friends, make sure you're not like blasting music on a speaker or anything or not being too obnoxious. It's really just about being respectful and courteous of those around you. All right, so once doors open, make sure you have your tickets ready before you go through security to make everything kind of a smooth and easy process. Now, if you want to get close to the stage, like if you're trying to get barricade, then I would wait to get merch till the end. Like I would just book it to the stage. If you don't care so much, now would be a good time to get merch. But again, if you want to get really close, I would wait to get merch. Now, as you're trying to get a spot, don't shove people. I mean, sometimes you can kind of weasel your way in. But again, be courteous of others. Be respectful of the fact that some people were there before you and some people might have been waiting even longer than you so just be nice you know it's like first come first serve don't don't be rude and also keep in mind that the crowd naturally kind of moves once the show starts so even if you don't get the best spot you might have a chance to get a little bit closer as the show actually begins it's also important to understand some of the risks you assume depending on the spot you stand in particularly with barricade and being right up at front if there is an actual barricade like a fence and you're kind of short like me sometimes during a show the crowd will push forward and that barricade will be digging into your ribs so that is a risk you take standing up at barricade. There's also a risk of standing in the center of the crowd. Again, the crowd kind of moves a bit during the show, but if it's more of a punk band, um, there's going to be mosh pits. And if you don't want to be in a mosh pit, I wouldn't recommend being in the center of the crowd because that's typically where they form. Uh, mosh pits in mind, 
don't drag people into a mosh pit if they don't want to be a part of one. I've unfortunately noticed that happening a lot at shows recently. Um, I'm someone I personally don't like moshing that much. Um, I just don't like being touched in that way. I've had people try to drag me into the pit when I don't want to. So again, it's not going to be fun for that person if they don't want to be a part of it. So if you want to mosh, go for it, but don't make people who don't want to do it. Now once you have your spot, remember that if you leave your spot you might not be able to get it back. It depends on the crowd really. I've seen people save spots for friends and it's just fine. I've also seen instances where someone tries to get back to their spot and they're like, no way Jose, like we're up here. So just understand that once you're there you might want to stay there and then also remember that if you got there right when doors opened you're going to be waiting for a little bit longer before the show starts and you're also going to be waiting through the opening act so get ready to stand for a bit don't walk your knees because that can actually make you pass out all right so once the show actually starts like i said the crowd is going to naturally kind of move however some people take that as the chance to try to be rude and kind of elbow their way into a spot i know those people are rude and extremely annoying but try not to respond with aggression because in these types of environments there's a lot more um, excitement I guess you could say so people are much quicker to respond with aggression so um, yeah just try not to get into a fight if people are shoving you I mean stand your ground if you need to but don't shove them back Next, if someone's being creepy, say something. If you see something, say something. We're coming to an age where inappropriate behavior is not as commonly accepted or normalized at shows. And I've seen like creeps try to touch up on minors and stuff at shows and I've watched them like get kicked out. So seriously, if you are experiencing something or you see someone experiencing something that they should not be, don't be afraid to say something. Maybe say something to the person next to you. Maybe try to wave down security but people will be on your side. People will help you kind of yell at this person and say, hey, knock that off, get out. So don't be afraid to stand up for yourself or to stand up for other people. Don't be afraid to dance and move around. I mean, after all, it is a concert, but again, it just goes back to being courteous of others. If you're dancing, make sure you're not bumping into people. I mean, sometimes it's inevitable because it can get pretty crowded, but just, you know, try to be a little bit conscious. Another thing, pictures and videos. I mean, there's nothing wrong with taking pictures and videos at concerts. Just, you know, be mindful that if you have your phone up, you might be blocking someone's view, so you don't want to keep it up for super long periods of time. And you probably don't even want to film the whole show anyway, because then that's kind of taking away from the experience. I mean, it is your ticket, you paid for it, so if you want to film the whole show, be my guest, but I just feel like it's it's just not the same as just like actually watching, you know? But, you know, it's just about having fun, enjoying the moment. I mean, you came to see this band for a reason, so now is your time to have a good time. So now it's starting to get close to the end of the show, or it is the end of the show, the encore's already happened, all that good stuff, and now it's time to leave. So you might be freaked out with everyone trying to leave at once, but if you just kind of follow the natural flow of the crowd, everyone's heading toward the exit, so you'll get there, just be patient, and it goes back to don't shove people, be nice, etc etc. Now is also a good time to get merch if you haven't yet. The line might be a little long, but I would say it's worth the wait. Sometimes by the end of the show, um, they have ran out of merch for that specific venue, so eh, it's hit or miss. Again, it goes back to if you really want to be up front, wait to get merch till the end, but if you don't really care so much, I recommend getting merch in the beginning so you can avoid the lines at the end. Now last thing is have a way to get home pre-arranged. You know, a lot of these concerts are ending at 10, 11 o'clock at night, and a lot of the times venues are in the heart of a city. You know, even if it is a really safe area, things can still be pretty dangerous and sketchy outside of a venue at night. And don't be lulled into a false sense of security just because there's a lot of people around. Bad things can still happen pretty quickly. Um, I would recommend having a ride pre-arranged from someone you know. Ubers and Lyfts can get pretty expensive if you try to buy last minute but they do have schedule ahead options where you can lock in a price and that is pretty helpful um i recommend lyft more than uber because i have found lyft to be a lot cheaper at least in my experience and just as you're leaving the venue again just be aware of your surroundings i would really recommend going to these concerts with a friend if you can i've gone to a lot of concerts alone and leaving at night is so scary a lot of the concerts i've been to recently have been in downtown denver and that is just so sketch at night and sometimes I have not been so responsible about having a ride in advance 
and it gets really stressful like really really stressful so again have that figured out you'll be thanking yourself later <laughs> all right you guys that is all of the concert tips tricks and etiquette i have for you in this video again the most important part at a concert is having fun so just do what feels right for you and like with any piece of advice what works for me may not always work for everyone else if there's anything you thought i missed or if there's anything you'd like to add feel free to leave it in the comments down below because i would love to hear back from you guys but yeah Again, that's all I have for you. Uh, feel free to like this video if you found it helpful. Also feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me. I don't really have a consistent upload schedule and I don't entirely know what types of videos I want to do, but I think I will probably just do things that pertain to my life, I guess. Concert going being one of them. But yeah, again, that's all I have for you guys, so I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye!